Amplifiers are a component that are often overlooked in a home theater setup, and many people choose to go with an AV receiver to run their surround sound systems, mainly for simplicity and to save costs as well. With that said, today we want to explore just how much of an improvement a dedicated power amplifier can bring to your system, and if it's even worth spending the extra money to get something like the Emotiva Base X A5. We'll be covering that and more in today's video, so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then stick around and we'll get into it right after the intro. All right, so if you're new to the channel and you haven't had a chance to see our dedicated home theater or living room theater, we'll leave links below just in case you want to go check those out. Both of these rooms have lots of speakers that we switch out all the time as we review new products. And one thing that we need to make sure of in order to give all of these speakers a fair and honest review is good, clean power. Right now, in our dedicated home theater room, we're running a 7.4 channel surround sound system with all Vandersteen speakers, as well as a pair of custom-built subs and dual SVS SB3000s. Our front stage is being driven by a set of three Emotiva UPA1 model blocks, and the rest of the surround channels, including the two CE towers in the back, are being powered with these little Marantz MA500 monoblock amplifiers. This setup has been working great for us, but unfortunately, as my Marantz monoblocks get older and eventually start to break down, I'm going to need a good replacement. And in fact, one of them just died on us the other day. And that's where the Emotiva Base X A5 comes in. Emotiva was nice enough to send us this amp so we could put it through its paces. And if everything works out in our testing, this could be a very viable option for us to replace our aging Marantz amps. So we want to give a big thanks to Emotiva for sending us this Base X A5. Now, just to be clear, Emotiva lent this amplifier to us, and in this video, we'll be doing a few different tests of the A5 to see how it performs running the main LCR channels of my theater, as well as the surrounds. The Basex A5 itself offers a power rating of 95 watts RMS per channel, with all channels driven from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz at a pretty low THD of less than 0.1% into an 8 ohm load. It's also capable of driving speaker loads down to 4 ohms, but of course with higher distortion if you want that full 130 watts of power. All of this Class AB power is being delivered by Emotiva's own high current, low noise Toradol transformer, which should do a good job powering just about any kind of speakers that you can throw at it within reason. Looking at the front of the amp, the first thing you'll notice is this really nice brushed aluminum faceplate, which looks to be about a quarter of an inch thick. And Emotiva's kept the layout very simple. You get a power button and a five LED display showing that each channel is active. But if you'd rather not have these LEDs on while you're watching a movie, all you have to do is flip a switch here on the back to turn them off, which is a pretty nice feature. Honestly, I really like the simple modern aesthetic and I think it goes great with everything else in my equipment rack, like the UPA1 monoblocks, which I mentioned earlier. And speaking of which, I've been using these monoblocks for the last 10 years in my home theater and I've been extremely happy with them. So I think it's pretty safe to say that since I've owned Emotiva products for quite a while, I can attest to their sound quality and longevity. Moving around to the back of the Basics A5, we've got the aforementioned dimmer switch, along with 5 to 12 volt trigger inputs and outputs, and obviously some I.O. Each channel on this amp has a single unbalanced RCA input and a pair of five-way binding posts to connect your bare speaker wire or some kind of banana plugs. And we also have an IEC power plug and a power switch. This amp will accept both 120 volt and 240 volt input at 50 to 60 hertz. One thing that I want to mention here is that the Base X A5 seems to be built very well all around. And as I already mentioned, on the outside it's got a thick milled aluminum faceplate, along with a rigid steel frame and soft rubber feet that raise the amp and help to maintain good airflow. This build quality and attention to detail also make their way to the inside of the Basics A5. And thankfully, Emotiva isn't ashamed to show off what this amp actually looks like on the inside. 
Overall, it seems to have a very clean layout with a large, actively cooled heatsink for every channel, and despite the fact that it uses cooling fans, we were barely able to hear them during our testing, unless we put our ears right next to the top of the amplifier. Speaking of which, the Bass XA5 is a pretty cool running amp, and even after watching movies at nearly reference levels, the A5 was still barely warm, which was very impressive considering that it was running five channels continuously with some pretty bass heavy soundtracks. Compared to our Marantz monoblocks, we noticed the Bass X A5 had similar channel separation and seemed to have a slightly more neutral upper end than the warmer sounding Marantz amps did. This seemed to give the sound a little more detail and openness, but without sounding harsh or in your face at all. Even though the Marantz amps have a higher power rating, no matter how much we push the Bass X A5, it never seemed like any of our speakers were starving for power, which gave us the impression that it had plenty of headroom, along with great control and authority in the lower frequencies. This low-end control could very well be because the A5 has an excellent dampening factor of greater than 500 into an 8 ohm load. And just in case you were wondering how these sound compared to our Emotiva monoblocks, well, it's pretty much as you might expect. Obviously, comparing a 5-channel amp to a very powerful monoblock isn't exactly fair, but they both had a pretty similar sound. Of course, the monoblocks have way more headroom, and especially if you're running large, power-hungry towers without a sub, you would definitely notice a big difference between the two. Again, this isn't a fair comparison, but to the A5's credit, it held up pretty well for the price, and it's more than adequate for most people's needs. Another great thing about these multi-channel amps is they don't take up nearly as much space. A great example is the size difference between our three monoblocks and the single base XA5 that offers a total of five channels. This becomes very important to those that want to upgrade their system by adding external amplification to their receiver without taking up a lot of space with a bunch of individual amps. The Bass X A5 can add good, clean power to pretty much any space without taking up much room, so it'd be great for using in something like a living room system. Speaking of which, we wanted to see just how much of an improvement this amplifier would give us over the built-in amps in our mid-range Yamaha AV receiver. So we moved down to our living room theater, hooked everything up, and gave it a go. Here, we instantly noticed a marked improvement in sound quality over the Yamaha's built-in power. Trying this combination with multiple different sets of speakers we have on hand, all of which have different sensitivities, impedances, and power ratings, the Bass X A5 did a great job. So whether you're trying to put together a brand new system, add to an existing system, or you're wanting to finally get some Dolby Atmos height speakers and you need some more powered channels, the Emotiva Bass X A5 would be a great option. And especially with the $599 price tag, you're not going to find a better amp anywhere near this price range. In the end, we feel completely comfortable giving the Emotiva Bass X A5 our highest recommendation if you need a capable multi-channel amp for a very reasonable price without compromising on sound quality or looks. And with all that said, I think it's time to wrap up this video. Make sure to take a look at the Bass X A5 on Emotiva's website, and we'll be sure to leave a link in the description below so you can go check that out. Also make sure to stay tuned because we'll be using this amplifier in a full Emotiva 5.1 surround sound system in a future video. If you want to chat about home theater, technology, or any other topics with us and other members of the community, then don't forget to join our Two Guys Tech Discord chat. Again, link is in the description. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments on the Emotiva Base X A5 down in the comment section below, and we'll do our best to answer them. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future content. And as always, have an awesome day.